Hi, how are you? So today is going to be a little bit about astrology. Why is it so important and why is there parts of astrology throughout the Bible? Yes, it is throughout the Bible. So basically, the concept of time does not exist anywhere else but on earth. <laughs> so the way what humans would consider time in the universe is gauged, but it's not really time. It's basically from the movements of astrological bodies. That's what determines certain events and things of that nature. So when you see years and all this and like certain religions trying to calculate and figure out what date is going to be, you know, this and that and how we got it 1914 to the true God and the spirit realm and the universe. Those don't matter at all. It's literally what these astrological bodies throughout the entire universe are doing. And everything is synchronized. It is perfect. There is no daylight savings time. There's nothing like that. It never fails. It is perfectly made. So that's why even when Jesus talks about the age and this type of thing, it is never a date or a time period or something like that. As far as the true God and those on the true guides, God's support team, okay? So that's why astrology is so important. And that's why throughout the beginning of creation, astrology has been literally at the base of everything, daily life. That is also why no matter what civilization and culture, even way back, ancient ones, Every single one had some type of astrological wheel in their worship, in their buildings, um, different places that even archaeologic archaeological finds. Yeah, that didn't roll off smoothly. Anyway, the ones who excavated and found different buildings, walls, floors, different things found these zodiac wheels, basically. Different versions, but all the same. It had to do with astrology, the constellations, and that type of thing. Because that is how humans actually gauge the seasons, what was happening, and everything. And that's why in Genesis 1, chapter 14, in the first account of creation, which, remember, was the true God's account of creation, Okay, which the rebel God did help with. I do want to emphasize that it wasn't just her. That's why it said let us because both of them were present. So I do have to give the rebel God his due credit. <laughs> but <laughs> what happened to Jesus, even when he, you know, said these things, they totally wiped out everything else he said and just focused on, okay. He said that this God also helped with creation. I am not saying that he is the almighty creator. No. But he was there and he did assist. He did help. And created some very beautiful things as well. Okay? But anyway, as it said in Genesis 1 and 14, Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So this actually was the purpose of these celestial bodies. So that humans would be able on the earth to tell what would be known to them as time, essentially. Because remember, everywhere in the, else in the universe, time is not even a thing. Okay, 
So that's why when I talk about birthdays and natal charts, and the natal chart has all of the planetary positionings, basically, for your particular birth date, which is important. Birthdays are important, as I've already said in other videos. But all of this, these movements, the positioning of the planets, the sun, the moon, everything, the constellations have to do with the true God. And like I said, when things have to do with the true God, the rebel God wants to hide it, wants to make it something that is evil and demonized, which he has successfully done, especially in the Jehovah's Witness organization. Astrology is not accepted. Horoscopes, um, your sign, something frowned upon as demonic. And it is anything but that. But is also the reason why they cannot get their dates and predictions right. Because they are ignoring the key thing that the true God has created for them to figure these things out. And once again, they don't have the true God's Holy Spirit, so they would not be able to figure it out anyway. <laughs> it just is what it is. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to say about astrology and the importance of it. And that's why it's in the Bible, and that's why, you know, that particular scripture says what it says. Okay, that's it. I hope you have a good day. Sending you my love and my peace. Take care. Bye.